Hello and welcome back to the Burgundian Conquest for European Avals 4. So, we are, uh, we're kind of chilling out. We're not going to have any coalition fire against us. We are, however, sitting in the Protestant League. Now, we can't leave for another three years, but I think the Protestant League are going to protect us as long as we need them to. The problem is, if the Protestant League attacks, we are on the front lines. We're on the front lines of Spain, we're on the front lines of Austria. This is not looking good. If there was a League map mode, that would be fantastic. I don't think there's a League map mode. But there might be somewhere, maybe somewhere, one of these things. That would be so useful. Nope, no League map mode. Like, if I was here, like, just having the ability to move this out of the way and have a look at the League, that'd be very, very, very useful. Um, maybe we'll just do it by religion. That's easy enough. So basically, here's what's going to happen. We're going to be kind of... This is our alliance here, the Protestant stuff. And the Catholic alliance, we are right on the front line. Although, pretty much all of it is front line. Also, Commonwealth is Catholic, is, is actually on our side. Which is very surprising. Are they actually Catholic? I thought they started Orthodox, or maybe I'm thinking of someone else. Anyway, we'll keep going. No problems. We, we will be absolutely fine. I actually think the League War will probably not fire, like, for a very long time. I think there's probably a chance that one country will just fire, like, there's, uh... I think there's a high chance they actually just have a thing in the AI where it's like, if it hasn't fired by this time, like, they just get more and more enthusiasm for it. But, we'll see core construction is almost done. It's fantastic. We're almost finished our Montferrat one. That'll mean that we'll have less um, unrest. Next person we need to improve relations with, Tuscany. We'll improve relations with you. You'll be cool. Right. And we're just basically trying to burn off as much aggressive expansion as possible by uh, improving relations. If when they've got positive relations, they're more, less likely to want to be in the coalition. All that good stuff. So, just keep waiting. A great advisor has died in our employ. Um, let's put on the... Oh, I don't know. National Manpower Modifier? Give it an extra 10%. That um, means that it will actually um, go up quicker. Like, because our max is higher, it goes up by 10% of your max, which is what's really cool. Like, so it'll go up 10% of your max each time. So even if your max goes down, They'll still have gone up by that previously. Anyway. Portugal, your faithful allies request you come to the aid of the Tunisian Jihad against Portugal against Tunis. This is a defensive war where we need to help our ally. Tunis is allied with the Ottomans, Hejaz, Morocco, and Sousse. This is a difficult one to think about. Here are the different factors to this call to arms. If we say yes, we're in the war. The war itself I have no problem with because we're not going to interact with any of these people on the list. We will, however, we'll, we'll be in a war of Portugal, which isn't too bad, but I mean we'll be in a war, and when you're in a war, you can't be part of a league war, which is important because it means that, um, it means that they could declare, like Spain could declare an individual war on us. It also means that um, the coalition could declare on us without firing the League War. That's bad for us. However, the other side is if we decline... Oh, wait, never never mind. I just had, I was going to say if we decline, then uh, we have lost an alliance that we, we would have taken from Spain, which, again, isn't good. But if Spain are in the war, I'm all for it. We'll be your ally in this war, Spain. Best part about being an ally in the War of Spain? Spain can't join the Coalition War, as it can't be part of the Coalition War, because we're we're in the same war. It's great. This is fantastic. Uh, why, why did you raise all my fort maintenance? I'm not joining in. W what do you think I am? I'm not gonna join in this war. Switzerland joined Catholic League. Not good. Montferrat is a core province. Uh, what else do we want to core? What's next on our core list? That's going to take uh, ha less than a year to fire. Okay. Next on our core list is probably Ferrara. Yeah. 
costs a lot of admin to core, but it'll be worth it. Back to the front. Uh, recover army morale speed went up. Cool. Uh, yeah, and we don't have the extra thing for our dip for our admin tech, like the cheapness that we had. Oh well, that's fine. Everything seems to be going absolutely all right. So let's just keep going. Any problems? Not really. Our colonists are doing fine. Colonies growing really quickly. Trade good is now fur. Okay, Bosnia entered into military alliance with Switzerland. And Aquelia joined Brandenburg. Okay, French Wars of Religion. France for years now has been torn apart by a string of religious civil wars. Um, so we can send troops to fight f France. Or we can send... Wait, what? Oh, I get it. This is a French-only event, right? Which you're meant to be able to join in if you're a country bordering France. The thing is, you're not meant to have France as a vassal. So do we want to lose manpower? Do we want to gain manpower? Or do we just want to ignore it? We want to ignore it. Obviously. I see. It was lose manpower either way. Yeah, we want to ignore it. Uh, felt hats. The price of fur has changed. Oh, it went up. That's good. Well, we just got fur production, so... That's nice. I like having more money. More money is good. Alright. Ooh, discovery spread. Home. So many of them. Northwest Pacific. Pacific. Oh, wow. Is that a... F uh, I thought that was a, uh, the same colour as like a Spain colony. Spanish colony, but that's fine. Oh, wow. There's so much we can see. That's cool. I like that a lot. Uh, can we send you anywhere? Like boats? Like if we unmothballed you, could we send you another mission? Oh, we don't have another explorer. Never mind, we'll just mothball you. That's fine. Don't need to worry about it. We could always use the boats to push trade, but I still don't think it's worth it. I think the boats are still a waste of money. Oh well. Military power or... Yeah, we, we're way ahead on military. We don't need the extra military points. Denmark declared war on Sweden. Uh, is Den Denmark are just against Sweden. Sweden is just against Denmark. Oh, wow. That's an interesting war. Is it still that? Sweden and the Commonwealth versus just Denmark. Denmark, did you uh, just do suicide by Sweden? That's that's not a good strategy for you. Um, Right. Probably Trier next. They'll be the next closest to leave. Let's keep the relations up. Okay. Anything else we need to really look at? Nope. Spain is killing rebels. Uh, that's a great, great use of your uh, manpower there, Spain. Uh, not that I should be complaining. That every rebel they kill is a manpower that's not going to come and attack us later. I would like to core this province, please. One Ferrara, please. Cool. Um, can we actually walk to Ferrara now? Oh, we can walk to Ferrara. Great. Now, this is a great because it allows us to uh, set off the Ferrara um, rebels the same way. It cannot be decreased in, while we're at war. Oh. 14 years if we sit on it. What if we don't sit on it? What, what What's your uh, rebel chance then? Five years? That's still not good. Oh, well. We'll move off. That's fine. That would have been a great time for the rebels to rise up in the one month where we don't have anyone sitting on top of that. Kong uh, peaced out of Portugal. That's probably someone along here. Yeah, Portugal really aren't doing very much in their war in the uh, Tunisian Jihad. Hmm. I'm kind of wondering, like, who's going to win this war? I suspect that we're going to win the war, but still. Oh, natives rose up. Oh, well, natives are dead. Um... That's our thing that we still need to core. Oh, that's fine. And the rebels are going to rise up this month. Nope, next month. Keep waiting for the rebels to rise up. And rebels. Nope. Discovery spread. Last time I did, I kept saying and rebels. Eventually, uh, we got a coalition war. So uh, let's let's stop that. Civil war in Kazan. All right. One for Atian rebels popped up. They got absolutely destroyed. Completely destroyed. Yep. Well, Ferratian rebels are now no longer a problem. Our only rebels are Ferranese rebels, and they'll pop up in six years, which isn't really a problem for us. 
we're kind of, uh, we're in a good position. We're in a nice and peaceful position. It's a spot that I didn't think we'd be in after the really, really bad wars we had earlier, but we actually have a lot of our land back. If we go to, I think it's this map mode, you can see all that's in kind of, like, all of this land here. That, that's all basically under our control. It's really nice. It's cool. And um, maybe the player's map mode would have been better, but we can't really have a look at that right now. Puritan uh, people popped up. You know what, France? I'm really sick of you and your unique uh, events here. Should probably improve relations with Austria as well. Just because they're the last on the list to improve relations with. Bohemia must accept Austrian overlordship. Interesting mission you got there, Austria. Hmm. Wonder what your motivations could be. Right, we'll put uh, one of them in charge. Uh, it looks like they don't actually have unrest in any province in France, yet they keep getting... Oh, they've got some in Co. They've got some Norman Separatists, but apart from that, they don't really have that many uh, rebel... Like, they don't have that much unrest. It's really weird. Why are France getting on boats? Wait, I think I just saw French soldiers get on the boat here, go to Picardy, and then come back. That's... That's some unique pathing. That is some very unique pathing you got there, France. Okay. Weird. Very weird. Denmark got destroyed in their war. Like, they, they are... Yeah, it was suicide by Sweden. The only reason why it's not 100% is nobody's gone up to get these ones up here. Colonial expansions. Expand colonial borders. So we get 200 population, we lose 30 ducats. Oh. Yeah, we'll just take it then. That, that had no downside. I was waiting for like the, uh, I was waiting for the twist. Oh, a new colonist. Cool. Um, what we need to do for a new colonist, we will split our army in half here. We will, of course, we'll go to the next one along and we'll just send you to there. Should be fine. Just uh, keep spending money on colonists, eventually it'll work. Just so much just became Sweden now. Sweden just became super powered. I have no idea why they did that, but I love it all the same. Um, we'll just keep our conquistador kind of around. Don't need to send him anywhere just yet. Might not even need a conquistador soon, because looking at the land, we actually can see pretty much everything. Colony became self-sustaining. Great. Fantastic. Uh, we're now going to go... Um, hmm. Which one of these next? Why don't we just go for the coast? We'll just keep going up up the coast and then eventually we'll be able to get the land in, Con in uh, Canada. If we, if we just keep heading up the coast. So you go that one, you go that one. That's fine. Yeah. We'll just keep moving up the coast until we reach Canada. Uh, where is Canada as a region? Out of curiosity. It is, yeah, it's very close. So in the next uh, set of things we'll do this, we'll do... Uh, Passamacudotti? That's a v name I haven't seen before. And then we'll go for Wallace Q. Wallace? Wallace Stock? Hmm. As their um, localized names. Like um, their names from the culture that was originally there. So probably Native American culture? Or Native Canadian culture? I don't know. Right. Uh, colonists are almost there. Oh. Yeah, we obviously didn't need to know what that event was because it just ran away as I went to look at it. Uh, nothing else really to do. We've got a couple more people in our coalition still. To Actually, I think it's just Spain is the only one we haven't improved relations with, but we already had max relations. Um, Maybe one of our allies we don't have max relations with now. Lorraine? Do you need more relations? You need more relations. We'll go give you relations. That's fine. They'll like us more. Just make sure all of our uh, allies love us. There we go. Ports are blockaded. Oh no. I'm uh, very worried about this situation. Uh, oh, it would be the Ferrara port. Cool. What are rebel situations looking like? 60%? 5.2 years still? Alright, cool. Uh, things came under control of Tunis. Spain stopped uh, embargoing us. Great. They figured out that we're actually on the same side in the war. Good, good. Continue making our money, continue just 
I think we're actually exactly on the edge of making money and not making money because that, like, uh, the sign up here keeps changing from plus to minus, or it was last month. So we're maybe a duck it either way. It's not that important right now. Right, we have improved relations with Trier. We will call our diplomat. Uh, who are we going to improve relations with next? Probably Portugal. Portugal, the ally I forgot I had. There we go. Right. Spain are just building troop after troop after troop to throw out the Ottomans. This is like a fantastic war for us to be in because we don't have to con contribute at all. Spain just loses manpower constantly. Gives us a chance to kind of bulk up. Which I like. Switzerland declared war on Venice. Venice is probably gone now. They're probably going to disappear. Um, Portugal accepted peace with Morocco for white peace. Interesting. So, I guess they were able to get a lot of war score against them. Tunis actually don't really want to be in this. It looks like uh, Portugal are going to win. Which, you know, isn't unsurprising given their alliances. But still. Though the Ottomans might give them a run for their money. Ottomans seem more con uh, like to care more about sieging the islands though, which... You know, it's fine. It's just not gonna... It's not gonna get them the war score they need. They need to actually win large battles. Great Britain declared war, a war upon Karani? Who are you? Oh, they're kind of South American. Okay. Cool. Full annexation was demanded with Jolof. Oh, I forgot that Portugal was actually in two wars right now. They just decided to only join, like, one properly. Now, what's going to be cool over here is when we get the idea. What's it? Uh, permanent cast a spell against primitives. Then we can just start taking lots and lots and lots of land up there, which would be nice. Very, very nice. Cores are being constructed. Ferrara is almost done. And, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's going to be good. It gives us some extra land in Italy. Gives us a way to start attacking into maybe the Papal State. Gives us somewhere that isn't the HRE to expand into. And it just gives us some extra land overall, which I like. I like just having extra land. Oh, we won our native the uprising. Only lost uh, one troop. That's not too bad. Great Britain. Uh, why are you over here? Like, how are you over here? You have no colonies nearby, and yet you're... What are they even doing? They walked... Great Britain! I don't understand you. They just seem to walk directly to Micmac. Like, to die to their rebels. That doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, Guarani took uh, a colony from Great Britain. Oh, well, well done, Britain. You managed to actually just... You managed to lose land in your war against the primitive. Um, okay. Clergy's influence has dropped. Cool. Uh, expand colonial territory has ended. Oh well, we couldn't have massive uh, colonies going on forever. Uh, next core is very soon. Okay, I think this is League War. Maybe. Trier honoured their military alliance with Austria. Liège honoured the military alliance of Austria. Papal State honoured the military alliance of Austria. Venice honoured the military alliance of Austria. Genoa honoured. Coalition? No. France joined, Sweden joined, Lorraine joined, Platinum joined. Portugal did not join. Bohemia joined, Great Britain joined, Brandenburg joined. Our military leader... Our military leader died. Are you serious? Um, okay. Well, we need a new military leader. Right. Uh, you shall have that military leader, and you shall have the other one. Right, who's actually in this war? So, probably this versus that, pretty much. Sweden and Brandenburg are actually huge helps here, but what we need to do is we need to very quickly work out... Uh, if, do we have forts raised? We have all of our forts are active. Good. Um, hmm. I think, well, let's have a look at numbers. We are a little bit behind on actual numbers, but they're more spread out, and Great Britain are in other wars right now. So that's alright. Um, so what we probably want to do is we probably want to get the actual allies out. So, like, we want to get the Bohemias, the Salzburgs, you know the Platinate, the people who aren't actually coalition members. They need to leave the war first. 
Palatinate are very close to us, aren't they? Uh, they're actually just this province. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to meet up in French comp, and then, uh, you know, then we can head up into uh, Platinum Land. Protestant Zealots and Co. You know what, France? This is your problem. They're Protestant Zealots. You you can deal with them. All right. Merge up. Head straight to the Platinum. Like that's that's where we need to head first. I think. Oh. We want to help out Brandenburg. We really want to help out Brandenburg, I think. Yeah. We got in it. Good. Brandenburg, we get the Brandenburg Space Marines, which are basically just fantastically strong uh, people. I don't know if they have all of their ideas. Well, they're Prussian Space Marines, but I think Brandenburg has Prussian ideas. It's like the ideas are really, really good. Yeah, Prussian ideas. Um, morale of armies and things like that. Uh, do we have the best guy here? No, we need to switch to either morale of armies or discipline. Uh, we're gonna switch to morale of armies. There we go. That's a little bit more morale. That gives us a little bit more morale damage. Right. Anything else that we can really do? I don't think so. I think we just need to go with it. Lost the siege of Ferrara. That's not good. Um, we are winning this battle. Uh, we need to finish this battle before Austria finishes theirs or joins in. Military points or money? Military points. Are we going to win this? I think we're going to win this. One morale. They're going to lose it on the day that Austria arrive. No! That is... That is awful luck. That is actually awful luck. Yeah, we might have to just leave. We'll lose, we'll lose the war gracefully. Like, we'll lose the battle gracefully. We lost... About as many troops as they lost. Actually, they lost a little bit more. But we had less to start with. So it's actually a, a larger loss for us. But our troops will retreat all the way to Paris. So that's alright. All right, I thought they were following us for a second. Are they actually following us? No, they're heading to uh, Lorraine. Okay. Uh, we will call a diplomat from Lorraine. Okay. How do we win this war? Also, how did Austria declare war on us without this trig triggering the League War? I'm very confused. I thought they would trigger the League War if they declared war on us. I was very certain they would, in fact, but um, it doesn't seem like that's the case. Right. Um... Who, where do we want to go next? Who else is in this war who we could possibly target individually? Not really anybody. Although Venice are in another war as well. So yeah, there are a couple of people who might just drop out the war given enough time. How are you doing Sweden? You got your troops coming? Yeah, they're getting on boats, I think. Yeah, they're getting on boats and then they're coming down. Uh, who are we at war with? Liège seems like a chop, or we can get Cal we can go to Calais and just siege that down for like no reason. I mean, Great Britain are in the war. Maybe if I give Great Britain a way out of the war. What do you want, Great Britain? Give me an offer. Give me an offer that's just money. Wants concessions other than gold? Yeah. Okay. Um. Hmm. Oh, Sweden are just sieging Great Britain. Yeah, we need to get Britain out of the war. Perfect. That's our first target. Get Britain out war. Just, um... We're gonna split this army in half. Send the other half over here. Why would the half that has the siege leader not be the half that stays on the siege? Right. You stay up there. Right, and we'll just stay back and we'll try and siege up. I think Sweden might actually have it. If we can get Great Britain out, that's great. Uh, no pun intended. Yeah, Sweden are just going heavy on Britain. They're, they're going to... Like, we need to just stay alive until Sweden can come out of that war. Alright. Right. Spain met, left the military coalition against us. Good. Um, presumably because they don't think they can beat us individually, or because they don't have enough aggressive expansion. I also hope that Spain don't declare war on us right now, because that would... Uh, it might spell the end for the campaign. But we're alright. 
Come on, Sweden. Sweden are about to siege England's capital. Oh, not England, uh, Great Britain's capital. They're not England anymore. Can't make that core because we don't have enough points. Fair enough. I want to core that province while we have the chance. Uh, okay. How's Britain feeling about this war? They are still pretty into it. Okay. Can we take Kent? <laughs> Could this be where we take Kent at last? We've been trying to take Kent for uh, like since the start of the game. Great Britain are still into it, but not totally into it actually. They might be out of it in a second. But they might be they might just stop caring in a second. They're very close to not caring. Okay. French comp came under control of Austria. Cool. Probably let some like French comp. Looking at how it's spelled, but you know. Whatever. Doesn't matter. It's not important. Uh, naval supplies is being built somewhere. Cool. We've won the Siege of Calais. We will, of course, take the Naval Force Limit modifier, which gives us the castle spell against primitives and gives us National Manpower modifier. And generally makes us pretty good. We're then also going to take the policy for extra settler chance. It costs us one diplo point a month, but it gives us extra settler chance. Um, Great Britain, one out of the war. You will peace for nothing.